Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for popping back in. Today guys, I'm going to show you this Mini Tools Shadow Maker Pro 4.2. This is basically a uh, a data backup um, or as it says here, reliable data protection and disaster re recovery solution. Um, very easy to use, very cool product. I will have to let you know right off the bat that this is a sponsored video. Um, Mini Tools Shadow Maker, the company has asked me, they did reach out to me and asked me to make this video. Um, so let me show you what this is all about today, guys. So if you go to the link down in the description below, it will bring you to this page here. Now, most of you will probably get away really well with the free trial here. So go ahead and download that. But if you decide you want some other features, let's take a look at the buy it now button here. And this just kind of gives you a comparison of what you get with the free version versus the pro version monthly subscription pro version annual subscription and then there's of course the pro ultimate um, if you are a super uh, power user of this stuff and of course you know over here you get it for three pcs two pcs and then just one pc um, so take a look at those especially after you check out the trial version and if you decide that you need some more of these features check out the paid versions on the software all right guys so once you get that downloaded there um get it installed and i'm gonna go ahead and minimize this because i've already got mine open now you see a bunch of different things here as you can see right off the bat pretty easy graphic user interface it's laid out pretty well we're just going to go through some of the basics here okay so uh first we got home just kind of shows what's going on here this shows your drives your operating system, uh, these backup sources available. Um, if you've done anything, it will tell you when your last backup was, when your next backup is. And uh, yeah, it's that's pretty cool that they lay that out in front there. So uh, let's start with backup. So pretty self-explanatory. This is where we're going to tell the system, hey, I have a source that I wanna back up and I have a destination on where I want it to go. That's pretty easy to set up, and I'll come back in just a moment to show you that. Uh, then you've got your sync, and it basically syncs up a, a file folder or even a whole drive with another drive, um, but just to keep those backed up for you. Um, if you have an existing backup and want to restore it, this is where you will do that. Um, then your manage button, um, this just manages your backups. We haven't done any, so you're not gonna see that here. Uh, right now and then of course logs it will tell you what was done and when and then at the end you've got some tools here which are pretty useful um, you do boot menu dismount some drives you can clone a disk and stuff like that so it's actually a lot more than just a data backup you got a lot of cool tools in here so let's go back up to backup here and I'm just going to show you a quick sample here so you guys see out here on my desktop I have a folder called my current work and um, these are some things I'm working on and I want to just back this up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click in my backup here and I'm gonna give it the source I'm gonna say okay so the source is I want to do a folder and file now, as you can see you, you can actually do a full disk and partition but I'm just gonna do a folder So if I click on that um, I'm gonna navigate to my folder which I know is on the C drive users me desktop my current work okay so i've navigated to the source and selected it i'm going to hit okay so as you can see that is there and now it's time to say okay where do we want to put this i want to put this on my e drive over here um, i've already got a folder on there called d drive backup which backs up my entire d drive um, so i don't want to put it in there so i'm just going to put it on the root of e right here and I'm gonna click OK so now as you can see we have said hey the source is this location and the destination is this location just throw it there now you can do backup now and just go ahead with it or you can do the drop down here and hit backup later so that's up to you if you want to back it up now go ahead and click connect I'm sorry click backup now or you can go ahead and click backup later so if we, I'm going to do that because I just wanted to back it up later and I want to set it to do it ever so often. So once you do that, 
you're going to get this come up here. And then if you do the little three dots here, you can go to edit schedule. Now we don't have a schedule yet, so we need to edit one or add one. Um, then we're going to come down here and turn this on. And let's say I want to do this daily. And let's say I want to do this at, uh, let's see, I think that's zero, one. Yeah, that goes by 24 hour time, it looks like. So actually, let's do this at, um, do this at 1 a.m. Don't do that. And oh, and I've noticed that the uh, times are a little weird and off here with this clock. So that's okay, though. Uh, we can kind of muster through. So 1 a.m. is when I'm going to start this at, and I'm going to do it daily. So once I select that, I'm going to hit OK. And the schedule has updated successfully. And now every morning at 1 a.m., providing that you have your computer on and your Shadowmaker software running, that will go ahead and back up at 1 a.m. And so you can be in here working on this and um, not even worry about losing it if something goes wrong with your computer because it's backed up every morning at 1 a.m. Um, so then if we uh, want to do a clone, which is popular, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but cloning a drive, if you go down here to tools and then you clone your disk, and it's basically uh, right here, it's going to ask you to choose, okay, what disk do you want to clone? And then once you hit next, it will come up and say, what drive do you want to clone it to? So um, like I said, I don't have any drives prepared to clone or anything like that to show you. Just want to show you that that's where that is. And it is as easy as a couple of clicks, guys. So anyway, guys, if you think this will help you, go ahead and check out that link in the description below. And um, if this video was helpful to you, please give me a like and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys.